Recently I've been getting some questions on my uh, dust guard for my table saw. So this is just a short video about that. A quick Google search reveals that there are tons of ideas on this. Do your own research, decide what works for you. This is my take on it. Hey, this is Daddy's Workshop in the Carolinas, where we treasure things made by hand and restored by hand. So uh, after posting my recent shop tour, I had a few questions about this overhead uh, dust collection for my table saw. This is sort of a, a custom design, if you will. Um, basically, it's made from parts that you can get from Home Depot or any big box store, and I figured out uh, a way to make it work for my situation. So basically, just to describe this a little bit, I've got some plexiglass for the sides and a plywood three-quarter inch uh, main piece here. The plexiglass is screwed to it. And then I've got an angled piece coming off here, this plywood, and I made a, a hole so I could see uh, the blade through there. If you want to get really fancy, you could do thicker plexiglass and make the whole thing see through, but I just didn't go that far. Uh, and then I've got a hole here with a four inch dust port, and then I've got a four inch self cleaning blaster above the dust port. I just made a little bit of a, a section here out of uh, flashing, aluminum flashing, to, uh, to extend this a little bit further. And then I've got a four inch flex hose. And then the real key here is this articulating arm that can go up and down. And uh, I've got a, uh, like a, a bicycle seat uh, skewer here, cam action release. Um, I just I found one off an old bicycle and it works perfect here so I can raise and lower this exactly where I need and just close it off and then it holds. And uh, these pieces here are aluminum bar stock from Home Depot. And then I've just got some steel square tubing. Basically this tubing and this tubing are the same. And then this one is the next size up so that this can slide in there up and down. And I've got a pin here and some holes drilled into this tubing so that uh, I can get that up and down. If I need to take it fully off, I can from here. Um, so I'll do some close-ups to explain this a little bit more, but this has been a great improvement on dust collection. Um, if, if you're expecting to get great dust collection with a vintage uh, table saw with just uh, the port below the table, you're going to be underwhelmed. Uh, I was, and I have a 3.5 horsepower Cyclone dust collector. Um, when I hooked my dust collector up to the table saw, and even with a 6 inch port on the side, directly to the Cyclone, and uh, cut wood with it, there's still um, dust coming off that blade if there's nothing above the table. Because you just got to consider how fast that blade is spinning and how fast that dust is kicking away from the suction. And so don't expect to get awesome collection from below the table uh, unless you've got some type of shroud around the blade below the table. Now you can make something like that uh, with, with flashing or uh, HVAC boots and, and magnets and all sorts of things. Um, but at some point, you know, where are you going to get most bang for your buck? Uh, I found in my case that even with a six inch port below, uh, adding an additional port up here makes a big difference. And it also creates more safety because now I've got my guard and my blade protected. This functions as a guard as well, not just a dust trap. Um, so you really got to consider that. Are you getting it below and above the table, in my opinion, um, if you really want to get great dust collection? You also got to consider, though, how much uh, your, um, your dust collector can handle, if it can handle two ports open at the same time. In my case, when I designed my system, I figured everything out. I used a lot of Bill Pence's uh, work. I, I know there's different opinions about his uh, approaches to uh, dust collection, but I found his uh, very uh, commonsensical and um, uh, very uh, beneficial in my case. I figure all those things out, and, and I would suggest Bill Pence as a place to start. Um, there, again, there's other opinions about that as well. You can read up on it and decide for yourself. Um, but let me do a few close-ups on this and explain a little bit more. So you can get an idea of how to uh, how I made this and maybe come up with some ideas for your shop. Okay, so here's a little bit more of a close-up for you just to give you more of an idea. Again, I got uh, some thin plexiglass at Home Depot and used some three-quarter inch ply uh, to size up this shroud properly. And then I've got a four-inch dust port and a self-cleaning four-inch blast gate and then flex hose that goes up to a Y here, which is a four-inch coming off my six-inch main. And then my six-inch main continues to run uh, from there. And then, uh, as I said here, the sort of articulating section here, this is aluminum uh, stock, bar stock from Home Depot. And then uh, I've got four pieces, as you can see there. Uh, they're all the same uh, length. And then I just drilled holes at each end and then holes through my uh, steel tubing and then um, and through this steel tubing as well. And then that creates my articulating motion up and down. And then, like I said, up here, I've got a bicycle seat skewer um, which has the cam action, which allows me to do quick release and uh, 
uh, tighten it in place with one hand. And then also the main tube here is the next size up, so this tubing can fit into this tubing. And then I drilled uh, a hole in this tubing and then holes in this. And then I've got a pin here so that I can move this up and down depending on my tasks on the table saw or if I need to completely remove it. I can do that from here without having to uh, detach the whole thing from my, uh, my rafters. So in my case, uh, since I have a stationary setup in my shop, uh, I just made this plywood mounting plate. And again, from Home Depot, I got some of this, uh, this angle iron meant for a garage door bracing and uh, cut it to the right lengths and then ran some bolts through everything and then lag screwed the, uh, the uh, plywood piece to the rafters. And in my case, this has been a great solution to above the table dust collection, like I said, um, with vintage machinery where there's not those uh, shrouds that go right up close to the blade under the table. You're probably gonna be a little disappointed if you just hook up your dust collector to the port below the table. There's still gonna be dust spinning off that blade when that blade's spinning at speed. Uh, that dust is gonna wanna go out, not down where the suction is because it's moving faster away from the suction. So uh, you've gotta have something to capture above the table as well uh, if you really wanna get good dust collection. So hope that helps, a little idea for you to, uh, to improve your setup. Had some questions about this after my shop tour, so wanted to answer them. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope the video has been helpful for you. Feel free to subscribe using the subscribe link. And if you've benefited from the channel and enjoy what you see here, consider donating using the PayPal link that's on my banner picture on my YouTube channel homepage. I put out a video per week. Hope they're helpful. Anything else I can do, contact me. Thanks a lot.